hello children uh, warm welcome to our je advanced pyq session i am introducing you to an uh, organic chemistry question from uh, you cannot say it's purely from aldehydes ketones carboxylic acid chapter because uh, in je advanced questions normally you don't see uh, single concept questions it will be a coupling of uh, generally two to three concepts so uh, coming to this question let's go through this question carefully just uh, look at this question treatment of benzene with carbon monoxide and hcl in presence of anhydrous alcl3 or cucl followed by reaction with acetic anhydride in sodium acetate gives compound x as the major product compound x upon reaction with bromine in sodium carbonate alkaline medium followed by heating at 473 kelvin with moist koh furnishes y as the major product reaction of x with hydrogen in palladized carbon followed by h3po4 treatment gives z as the major product here the question is the compound z is immediately the very next question comes out as the compound y is i have taken only compound z is here now you can see the question let us go to the first reaction benzene with carbon monoxide in hcl so what is that reaction benzene with carbon monoxide in hcl plus carbon monoxide in hcl in presence of anhydrous alcl3 or you can use cuprous chloride cucl and the reaction the well known gatterman koch reaction the reaction is gatterman koch reaction conversion of benzene into benzaldehyde through electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction the reaction is called gatterman koch reaction and you end up with what is called benzaldehyde here gatterman koch reaction benzaldehyde now this benzaldehyde is further treated with acetic anhydride ch3 co twice o acetic anhydride in sodium acetate now again the reaction is well known perkins reaction perkins reaction an aromatic aldehyde with an aliphatic anhydride in presence of salt of same carboxylic acid whoever be the anhydride the same anhydrides acids carboxylic acid perkins reaction you end up with alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid in this case you get cinnamic acid now here the easiest way to remember this is you just remove this double bond o here and the two alpha hydrogens from the acetic anhydride and then just write the hydrolyzed product this is just to remember easily the product it's not the mechanism easy way of remembering the product so that now you can write benzene here ch double bond ch i have written the ch double bond alpha carbon of this acetic anhydride ch and then i asked you to write the hydrolyzed product of anhydride which is an acid this is called cinnamic acid which is an alpha beta unsaturated acid this is called perkins reaction and the compound x is formed this is the compound x so this much you already know you already know uh, uh, this um, carbon monoxide with hcl gatterman koch reaction then perkins reaction conversion of an aromatic aldehyde with an aliphatic anhydride and salt of same carboxylic acid giving alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid here it is cinnamic acid now the next question is or the next uh, it is continued as the compound x upon reaction with bromine in na2co3 so in alkaline medium bromine so first when you treat it with bromine bromine gets added across the double bond and you get a product which is 2,3-dibromo here bromine gets added 
and from wherever the bromine gets added in one case opposite it's always anti addition across double bond you are aware of that you get anti addition of bromine you have got 2 3 dibromo acid as the product now alkaline medium so this is something to something new to you and this is 2018 question something new to you were when you put it in an alkaline medium na2co3 this being acidic this acidic hydrogen is abstracted by the base and you get a carboxylate group there you get a carboxylate group there and once this becomes carboxylate and br again being a good leaving group what happens here is elimination reaction elimination reaction from alpha carbon carboxylate group is eliminated and from beta carbon br minus is eliminated how so you can see a shift of negative charge towards this so that this bond breaks and this pair of electron get shifted to this position so that this bond breaks and br minus leaves so the two leaving groups here here are one is carbon dioxide is eliminated and then a br minus is eliminated and the product here is you can say a bromo substituted styrene as the product this is the product formed here bromo substituted styrene is the product formed here and then it says that it is treated with followed by bromine in no2co3 followed by heating at 473 kelvin with moist koh so if you treat it with moist koh normally we say KOH in water is a nucleophilic substitution product. But here though it is given moist KOH, it is at 473 Kelvin, very very important. It is well above the boiling point of water, so it is not going to be KOH aqueous. It just produces K plus OH minus, that's all. Because it is well above the boiling point of water. So this will induce elimination reaction beta elimination reaction it's not nucleophilic substitution with koh it is beta elimination which happens here and we know beta elimination br from this carbon and hydrogen from the adjacent carbon beta carbon is eliminated and you get a product which is c triple bond ch this is the final product form you can call it Phenyl derivative of acetylene. Phenyl acetylene is the product form which is called Y. So the question, just the question before this was, what is Y? The I know. Why was the question? Now the question, what I have asked here is, what is Z? So hope the entire process is clear to you. We are going to the second part of the question. Uh, what is Z? Is the question to get Z? X was treated with hydrogen in palladized carbon we know hydrogen in palladized carbon can saturate double bond can reduce double bond to a saturated compound so first you treat it with hydrogen in palladized carbon and the product formed is you have ch2 ch2 cooh and then it says followed by heating with H3PO4. Orthophosphoric acid. Now here the only place where orthophosphoric acid can act is COH group. Because orthophosphoric acid is acidic. And in COOH, oxygen carrying lone pairs of electron can act as a Lewis base which can get protonated. So protonation of OH of carboxylic acid functional group occurs resulting in a protonated carboxylic acid functional group and once this happens this enhances the electrophilicity of this carbon see double bond already carbon carrying double bond O is quite electrophilic now once this oxygen become plus 
this enhances the electrophilicity of this carbon so that it can easily do electrophilic aromatic substitution on the benzene ring. So, this is followed by electrophilic aromatic substitution at the benzene ring and thereby dehydration. A mole of water is eliminated resulting in cyclization, it is cyclization, dehydration, electrophilic aromatic substitution, you will get a ring which is, let us count how many membered ring, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 membered ring. So, you just put benzene and fuse a 5 membered ring to it. Now, see the position of C double bond O, position is adjacent to this bridge. So, here you will put double bond O group and this compound is the final compound which is called Z. So, we have arrived at Y and Z. Y was phenyl C triple bond CH and Z is this. So, these were two questions which had appeared in 2018. The same concept that is Perkins reaction concept you can see in many more previous papers if you see 2012. Again one question had come, two questions had come on Perkins reaction. So, uh, the, all the reactions which we have discussed now are very, very important. So, in another session, I shall introduce you to 2012 uh, concept where Perkins reaction again has come out. Thank you children. Thank you very much for being with me.